Seva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be telling you guys the truth about Gatorade. But before we get into the video make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on my videos. Alright let's get started. Okay so today's video is basically going to be answering the question if Gatorade is good or bad for you. Now if you look right on Gatorade's website you can find that Gatorade was literally developed in a lab and everything of course for athletes specifically. So what happened was, you know, we have our athletes, you know, working really hard, they're falling ill, you know, working in the heat and all these kinds of things, and we wanted to figure out why and what we can do about it. I have videos on my channel all about hydration, which I can link right up here for you guys, but basically what was happening is these athletes were losing not only liquids and fluids from their body, but electrolytes as well, and then they weren't replacing them. So Gatorade was then developed to not only improve hydration, but replace, you know, fluids in these people, and also replace the electrolytes and carbohydrates. So even though it's of course marketed as a sports drink, like every Gatorade commercial is, you know, a football player or something like that, it doesn't mean that only athletes drink Gatorade, right? You see great Gatorades everywhere, little kids drinking them, you know, after school, at lunch, and whatever it is. So today's video is going to be structured a little bit differently this time. We're basically going to go over the good things about Gatorade and then the bad things about Gatorade, and then you guys can develop your own opinions. So first, let's start with everything good about Gatorade. So when you're exercising, I don't care if you're doing crazy exercise or normal exercise or whatever it is, it is important to stay hydrated always. And water, of course, is the like natural choice. So Gatorade is going to contain things like sugar, electrolytes, potassium, and this is what's going to kind of help people replace these things that they might lose when you're exercising for a long period of time or doing, you know, a HIIT workout or, of course, you know, these athletes or, you know, if you're out in the heat. Now, I know I've mentioned electrolytes on my channel before and salty sweaters and things like that, so that's going to come into play here. So your body has an ionic balance and electrolytes are minerals that helps kind of keep that balance. So your nerves, your muscle, your brain function, that's all essential when it comes to this balance. So electrolytes can be, you know, a bunch of different things. So it can be chloride, sodium, potassium, phosphate, magnesium. So the electrolytes and the carbs is what's going to keep these athletes or these people that are, you know, really exert exerting energy exerting. And it's going to really help you to kind of refuel and rehydrate. So as well as hydrating, these carbs are going to be giving you some more energy too while you're working out or whatever activity you're doing. And of course, the flavor helps to keep this really popular too. You know, it's not just plain water. But, I mean, this isn't necessary for everyone. Like you've been hearing me say, you know, athletes, people doing HIIT workouts, you, you know, exerting a lot of energy out in the heat. If you're doing vigorous, strenuous activity for a long period of time or in the heat, then that's different. So if you're exercising for like, I would say like an hour or less just doing normal exercise, nothing too crazy, not, you know, high intensity or anything like that, then Gatorade isn't really that necessary, you know, for you. Um, or like I said, if you're out in the heat or something like that, otherwise, you know, water should be fine. So now let's get into the bad of Gatorade. So a lot of people that drink Gatorade, let's be real, are not athletes. And most people that are drinking, you know, these giant Gatorades every day aren't really as physically active as they should be typically. So a 20 ounce serving of Gatorade, for example, like the Thirst Quencher or something like that, has 36 grams of sugar. Like I know that's a little bit less than some of the sodas that are out there, but that's still a lot of sugar. And there was a study that showed sports drinks are contributing to the child obesity issue that we're having and, you know, raising the amount of calories that these kids are consuming for no good reason at all. And tooth decay is a whole other thing, but of course, consuming these drinks all the time, just like soda, could contribute to this. Now, like I said, all of this extra sugar and sodium and all these things aren't necessary or recommended for somebody who is not, you know, needing to get them replenished. Over time, you know, you don't want to see any weight gain or high blood pressure or anything like that just from consuming these drinks when you really don't need to. Now, of course, just like our Coke Zero with, you know, zero sugar and all of that, you know Gatorade came up with one too. It's like a lower calorie Gatorade, it's called G2. And they use artificial sweeteners in substitute of the sugars, which, yes, they have a lower amount of calories, but 
We all know what I think about these artificial sweeteners. And it's not just what I think, it's what research shows. And not to mention all the different food dyes and everything else that are found in these drinks too. They are petroleum based or derived from petroleum, I should say. And they can increase the risk of hyperactivity in children and have also been linked to some cancers. So am I saying you're gonna drink a Gatorade and you know your child is gonna have hyperactivity or you're gonna get cancer or something? No, but why even risk it? So to kind of sum everything up, I mean, this is totally up to you what you want to drink or what you want to give to your kids, but it's really not necessary in the typical situation. You know, if your kid is outside playing sports for, you know, an hour and a half in the heat, sure. Or if you're doing, you know, a crazy hit workout, you're dying, it's been forever, and like, your salty sweater, sure. But if you're just the average person, just, you know, oh, I like the taste of Gatorade and I just want to drink that today, or I'm doing, you know, a 30-minute little quick workout, it's really not necessary. And duration means a lot here, too. So, yeah, maybe today you had a two-hour workout, but you do that once a week. That's very different from somebody that works out even an hour per day, you know, like five to seven days per week. All I'm going to say is water, water, water. Water should be enough. If you want extra flavor, there's a ton of ways that you can do that, but don't just, you know, have Gatorade in replacement of water because you think, you know, oh, all these electrolytes, like I'm hydrated as can be, and that's all that matters, because it's not. But that is all I have for this video today, you guys. I hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something new. If you did like it, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on my videos. And share, share, share this video would really help me a lot. And as always, if you want to get my exclusive nutrition tips, healthy food recommendations, and delicious recipes right to your inbox, then make sure to head over to my description box, click the link, and join the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.